Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olson here from Super Simple Guitar, and welcome to another episode of Hang With Henry. Roll the intro. All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be checking out a young artist that I have recently just been addicted to, Marcus King. Um, He's just been, you know, I've been playing his album and watching his videos nonstop. I feel like when I was a teenager, when I discovered Stevie Ray Vaughan. So um, I'm excited to check out some of these Marcus King tunes with you. Today, we're going to be checking out um, a kind of a ballad. But in a couple like upcoming videos, I'm going to do some faster stuff and some more rocky stuff. But this is um, Goodbye, Carolina. And to me... This is just, um, it just represents what a true artist he is and just how much depth and soul he has. And he's only 25. So for this reaction slash guitar lesson, first I'm going to watch the entire performance with you just because it's so deep. We're going to go deep. Um, I actually cried twice. You'll, you'll maybe see why. Um, but anyways... It's super deep. So um, let's just go deep together. So first of all, I want to play a quick little clip of Marcus just talking about how he wrote the song. And then we're going to watch the song together. And then I'm going to show you the guitar parts. Okay, so it's going to be a slightly longer video. But this is Hang With Henry. We're not in any rush here, right? We have time. Okay, so let's just listen, first of all, um, the inspiration between uh, behind this tune. Okay, all right, let's do it. This song, Goodbye Carolina, I was in a, a hotel room in the south of France somewhere, and I was just kind of taking a break from writing and just laying on my hotel bed, writer's block kind of thing. And this line came into my head, Goodbye Carolina, and I didn't know why it came into my head, so I immediately hopped up, and I felt it really, really deep, this line. Stay and with I didn't me. understand why yet, but I got to my table and I started writing and uh, I saw like an apparition of a good friend of mine that had uh, committed suicide just a couple years prior or a year prior at this time. Um, and he was living in Carolinas at the time, in South Carolina. So from that point, you know, it was kind of a wild thing. I was I was sober, so there was that. I know what I saw, and it just really inspired me. And I feel like from that moment on, the song was written through me from my friend who was a, an excellent songwriter. And uh, it's written from his perspective. So whenever I play the song, I feel almost like I'm playing one of his tunes, you know. I don't take a lot of responsibility for writing it. All right, so now I'm going to actually play you the song. So just keep that context in mind. Um, you know, it's going to get deep. I dreamed of the day when I'd hold you in my arms again Read you all the letters I wrote but never said Give you all the pages of me, put them back together Put them back together again Life has a way of writing your stories for you, the hero doesn't always get his girl What if you could change the end To the novel they've been writing Leave no resolution So goodbye Carolina Search my whole life to find you Hate to leave you, but I hope you know where I'm going. I'll be seeing you. So 
hold my hand as I'm leaving Thought my pain would be enough reason See you on the other side of the blue ridge sky Now I'm going, hate to tell you goodbye Wow. I mean, I choked up a little bit there again, too. I mean, if you really listen to the lyrics, it's just, I don't know, it gets me every time. And the way that the chords build, <sighs> next level, next level. Okay. So I don't know if that moves you. I hope this isn't too cheesy a video, but this kind of music really moves me because it's not about getting hits on the radio. This is true art, you know, and it's about real people and real situations and his friend that he lost. <sighs> okay, so let's 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 take a look at um what what's happening with the guitar, okay? So, D minor Okay, so what's happening there? See, it's, um, you know, this this chokes me up when I when I when I listen to the lyrics and I heard that story before and just the way the song is written. I mean, if you really listen, it's hard for it to not touch you, you know. And that's what real art does, you know. So, to to me, this is what just makes him just next level he's 25 and he's he he's writing these songs so it's just next level and i mean okay let's let's take a let's take a look at the guitar now so we're in d minor going into a f sometimes he lets that major seven ring sometimes he plays that f going into a c and then into a g with the b on the bass so it's kind of like a G, but without that um, 
sixth string there, okay? And we're only playing four strings. So we're not letting the first string ring in or the sixth string. So for the D minor, um, he's doing this cool little... Okay, so what that is, is just you're releasing your first finger, then you're adding in the note G, which is on the third fret, right? So... Right, and the main little melody that you're gonna hear throughout the tune is this open E hammering on down to the first fret, first string, which is an F, and then kind of just going to the second string and then third string, so. Okay, and in the in the intro, he, he then adds. Okay, and that's a really cool thing that you can do on a D minor chord. They say it's the saddest chord. So that's probably why he chose it for this song. And it's, you know, so very sad chord. And here's some more embellishments that you can kind of add. So. Then you can release your third, your third finger, uh, your third string, and then see that. And then you can build little licks with those notes. So anytime you're jamming on a D minor, that's what you can do. Okay. So, anyways, it's really hard to play without choking out the notes. But anyways, that's what's happening there. I dreamed of a day when I'd hold you in. Now, when you go into the F, so it's. When he goes to the F, instead of just going straight in that little F, he's walking up with this note. So second fret, fourth string, going into the F, right? So that's giving you this lift. And that's what happens later on when he's singing that, that lyric, hold my hand as I'm leaving. You know, it's just it's taking you taking you up right so and for this one he likes to keep it tight so he'll kind of keep the second third and fourth string ringing and won't really use that first string much so it's kind of this tight little triad right okay then C for the C he likes to add in that G on the bass and then go into that Okay, so let's listen. In my arms again, read you all the letters I wrote, but never say I give you all the pages of me, put them back together, put them back together. When he goes to the C, he'll also do a little. So releasing that um, fourth string, and then going, right, so fourth string without the middle finger, hammering down, and then going for the second and third string. So, okay, I'm sorry if this guitar is out of tune. It's, it's just constantly going out of tune, but I don't want to have any cuts in this video. I just want it to be like a raw, the G string, the G string. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, this is going to be a no cut Joe Rogan style. Okay. Together again. Life has a way of writing your stories for you. The hero doesn't always get his girl. Then there's one other really cool thing that happens here. Um, when he goes back to that D minor, he'll do this little run. So that's the open fifth string, walking down four, three. So, and then going from the second fret, sliding to the third, and then the open G. So, and I kind of use my fingers for some of these notes because it's just easier to hybrid pick than to try to get them all with a pick. And I think he does that too. Okay, so. That main little thing there 
is the main theme that you're going to hear over and over. That's kind of the main thing that you want to get. And all those other notes kind of are more what he does in the intro, okay? Okay. What if you could change the end to the novel they've been writing? Leave no resolution. So goodbye, Carolina. When he goes to Goodbye Carolina, then it's just D minor and F. D minor back to F. Then he goes into a F again, and then into a C. You'll see, you'll see now. Search my whole life to find you. Back a little bit. So let's 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 start over. There's that little noodle thing I was telling you about. I dreamed of the day when I Lift. hold you in my arms again, read you all the letters I wrote but never sent, give you all the pages of me. Put them back together Put them back together again See that? Life has a way of writing your stories for you The hero doesn't always get his girl What if you could change the end To the novel they've been writing Leave no resolution Goodbye, Carolina. Okay, so D to F. Search my whole life to find you. Hate to leave you, but I hope you know. Now we go to a C. Where I'm going, I've been seeing you. So hold my hand as I'm leaving. D to F. Tell my pain would be enough F. reason. I'll see you on the other side of the blue red sky. Into a now scene. I'm going. Hate to tell you goodbye. Back into here. Notice how beautiful it is when that female vocal kicks in there. I mean that to me, that's just as good as it gets. I've Leave no resolution. Just him and his guitar. Goodbye, Carolina. There she is. Search my whole life to find you. Hate to leave you, but I hope you know where I'm going. I've been seeing you. So hold my hand as I'm leaving. Hold my hand as I'm leaving. Tell my pain would be enough reason. See you on the other side of the blue red sky. Now I'm going. Hate to tell you goodbye. Bend. So during the solo, um, the band is just going D minor into that F, right? D minor into that F. So they do that two times, and then he's already back. And the solo, we're going to take a little look at the first solo and, and kind of ignore the second one because there's so many notes. But the first one is just this, since we're in D minor, you can play a D minor pentatonic. And he kind of does this. Right? So it's. D minor pentatonic pure, but listen to how nicely he phrases it. Oh, then there's a little thing. So let's listen to the solo one more time here. Okay. So 
alto. Something like that. And just listen to, he's just, he's a great guitar player. Okay, one more time, one more time. That's the thing. This, this, this kid has everything. He doesn't just write great songs that make you cry. Um, he can play the guitar like few people that I, that I really know kind of on the scenes today. I'm leaving I thought my pain would be enough reason and you have to think he's writing this from the perspective of his friend who decided to leave I mean See what we did there? So we're just in pain, bluesing out, right? And then he says, you know, I'm leaving. I'll see you on the other side. I'm leaving, I hate to tell you goodbye. So this is kind of like the last goodbye. And then he goes into D major. Which to me kind of, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like he's in heaven now. So we had all this pain and suffering and he finally decided to say goodbye. And now it's kind of like he's up in heaven, you know? It's still sad, but he's kind of ending the story on a, you know, it's not all sad, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So really interesting and great songwriting there, in my opinion, too, because you have that just D minor tearing out your soul the whole time. But then We're in major land. Okay, so the chord there, I, I think I'm pretty sure, just a D major, and also his solo is just so, you know, cheery. It's kind of like, yeah, it's just cheery, like you're in heaven all of a sudden. So anyways, that's my interpretation. And then I think the next chord is like a C add nine, but we're only playing four strings. Okay, so that's third fret, third fret on the third string. Okay, uh, fifth, sorry, fifth string, third fret, second string, third fret. And then we're strumming four strings. Okay, so let's just let's just go back a little bit. Build it. Hey to leave you, but I hope you know that I'm going on to see you. I'm going on to see you. Goodbye. 
soloing in D major, right? Because we changed the tonality. So that first solo was a D minor solo. Now we're changing, we're going for that kind of happier sound. We're soloing in a major tonality. <laughs> so much he's like this 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 old just soul and then when he says thank you very much it's like he becomes a boy again it's it's funny to watch to me anyways so um marcus king wow i've been listening to his album what's it called el dorado um i've just been having that looped in my car and on my headphones the whole time for like a week so anyways marcus king i'm going to be doing more videos but this is kind of the one i wanted to kick it off with because um it legitimately moves me um and i just think it's yeah just next level just next level stuff so anyways thank you for watching if you like this lesson give me a thumbs up hit subscribe tell a friend um and let's go listen to some marcus king together all right I will see you very soon with another episode. Take it easy. Bye-bye.